It's time to go behind enemy lines, presented by Windows 11. I'm Mike Keith, joined by Bob Sosie, the voice of the New England Patriots. His Patriots are back rolling again. You guys are having fun once again on that five-game win streak, Bob. <laughs> Just like old times, Mike. You know, the Patriots went through the 79 season, as you know, last year. Got off to the 2-4 and four season this year. It's amazing how quickly things have shifted now in a month's time. And in New England, of course, it's not just the Patriots, but it's Tom Brady and the Buccaneers since he's no longer the quarterback here. And they've lost back-to-back games. And now Bill Belichick, once again, has been uh, crowned a football genius and the greatest coach of all time. 13 points allowed in the last three games. What gives with this defense playing so well? You know, I think that what's happened, Mike, is, is they've spent a lot of money in free agency, of course, and they brought in some new people in the offseason. They re-signed some key veterans in the offseason, and it took some time, particularly in the front seven, to, to get everybody on the same page to kind of orchestrate the pressure that they've been able to sustain now over the course of the last three or four games in particular. But what they've done is they've married up that zone coverage with kind of relentless pressure, but they're a lot better right now up front. And I think part of it is just those guys playing together, the run fits being better, and also adapting to what's expected of them week to week, game to game. 18 interceptions. Do I have that right? 18 interceptions. You know, this team has been among the league leaders, if not at the top of the leaderboard in that category. And J.C. Jackson has been fantastic. He's got tremendous ball skills, and he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. So he, he's a guy that's really playing well right now and taking full advantage of his circumstances. Kyle Duggar, second-year player out of Lenore Ryan, he's had three interceptions in the last month. Adrian Phillips had two interceptions against his former team, the Chargers. So the defense is making plays. They're not only taking the ball away, but they're doing damage with the ball. Mac Jones is playing well as a rookie at quarterback. What has surprised you about Jones? Yeah, I think just the consistency. There's been a resilience that he's shown, uh, not only from game to game, but within a game. But Mac Jones, after a season and a half as the starting quarterback at Alabama, came into the NFL. He outplayed Cam Newton from day one. Bob, who does he like to throw the football to? The cliche, we throw it to whoever is open. And I think Mac Jones has demonstrated that. And Jacoby Myers has been a big third down guy for this team. There have been times where his ball distribution has spread it around like a good point guard. Now he's developed a certain knack and his kind of chemistry of looking for Hunter Henry in the red zone. And he's also solved the problem for the Patriots because they had no tight end production the last couple of years at all. And they were really plagued by red zone problems these last two seasons. And Hunter Henry has helped to address a lot of those. And he's got some guys to hand the football to who've been very productive. Damian Harris came into this season as uh, the, the number one back for sure. But I'll tell you what, Ramadre Stevenson, the rookie out of Oklahoma, has played his way into the mix. Well, James White went down in the season's third game and he's lost for the year after his injury against the Saints. And Brad and Bolden, who's been kind of a jack of all trades, uh, somebody that uh, often gets written off in these parts is nothing more than a core special teams guy and a locker room guy. Well, he's been able to step into that third down back role and give them enough production in the screen game. Bob Sosie, great stuff on this week's opponent, the New England Patriots. Thank you for taking us behind enemy lines presented by Windows 11. Mike, I appreciate it.